Fitbit has a new addition to its best-selling activity band range. Charge 5 is more than just an iterative upgrade. It comes packing some serious health tracking smarts, much of it ported over from Fitbit Sense. Design has also benefited from a significant revamp. For this, Charge 5 borrows a lot from the beautiful Fitbit Lux. Uh, both of these are solid options if you're after a decent activity band. Uh, Fitbit Charge 5, of course, offers more, but also sells for a higher price, uh, typically around $30 more. Uh, is the extra functionality worth the extra bucks? Keep watching to find out. Released in April 2021, Lux comes across like a blend between the discontinued Fitbit Alta HR and the Fitbit Inspire, something for those that want uh, a discrete fitness device on their wrist. What's most interesting about Lux is the display. This is a full color 0.76 inch OLED. The device, uh, the device has a metal housing made of polished stainless steel and silicone straps. These are replaceable so you can customize the thing to your taste. The resolution of the screen uh, it comes in at 124 times 206 pixels with a 326 ppi density. This puts the, the quality uh, of the screen uh, on par with what you can find on Sense and Versa. There are no physical buttons, so all the navigation is done via the touchscreen. Despite the discrete form factor, the fitness tracker has some advanced health monitoring functions. In addition to the basics such as steps, sleep and more, users also get stress management around the clock, heart rate variability, temperature and respiration rate information. No altimeter uh, on board, uh, so floor counts are off this list. Users can choose between 20 exercise modes with real-time pacing and distance. Swim tracking is uh, also an option thanks to 5 ATM water resistance. No built-in GPS uh, though, so you will need to rely on your smartphone for that. The small form factor doesn't allow for a very big battery. Hence, uh, users can expect to get only 5 days between charges. The premium design uh, of Lux means uh, that it does not really fit into the budget activity uh, tracker category. Uh, the regular iteration costs around $150. It is clear Charge 5 has borrowed a lot from Lux in terms of design. Both have a similar appearance and the same quality display, but because Charge 5 has a longer and wider screen, it is easier to read of the two, especially if you're on the go. Lux, uh, but Lux clearly has the better build, as Charge 5 housing is made of aluminium, glass and resin. Uh, the second has uh, stainless steel panels though, uh, which are on the sides and add to its classy look. As far as fitness sensors, Charge 5 also does not have uh, the altimeter for floor counts, but its extra overlux are multi-purpose electrical sensors. These are used uh, to take ECG measurements and for more precise uh, stress readings. Another addition that you get with Charge 5 is built-in GPS. It allows for phone-free exercising outdoors. There is a slight difference in battery life that you should be aware of. Charge 5 keeps going two days longer than Lux, so about a week between charges. This falls to about five hours with GPS switched on. As far as smart fun functionality, Charge 5 goes further uh, than Lux uh, with quick replies in addition to NFC for payments on the go. This will be important to some, but not to others. The final extra that you get with Charge 5 is the ability to play, stop, shuffle and skip Spotify songs running on, on your smartphone. To summarize, both of these are decent fitness bands that look beautiful. Plus, they use Fitbit's tried and tested simple to use software and activity tracking smarts. If you're after a slimmer, more discreet experience, Lux is your answer. It comes with all the basic fitness tracking functionality, coupled with a beautiful AMOLED display and premium build. Retailing for about $30 less, it is also the cheaper of the two options. Charge 5, on the other hand, comes with a slightly larger price tag, uh, but you do get quite a bit for your money. This option is more suited for the outdoorsy types, for those that run or cycle often. It has built-in GPS for phone-free exercise tracking, slightly longer battery life, and a larger display which makes reading your stats on the go easier. Plus there's the ECG EDA sensor and NFC for payments on the go.